Oh my God, my guys. Dude, I finally got my puppy to go to sleep. So just know, part two of my collection is dropping. Dang, that fool just woke up. I was afraid this would happen. Hey man, but uh, yeah, we got part two of my entire personal collection, which is behind me and is temporarily in my dining room. If you guys haven't seen part one, check it out. It was released yesterday, unless you guys are watching this far into the future, then it was released whenever it was released, but it's right here. So uh, yeah, check the link, check my website, website. We'll do that too, but check my YouTube channel to see the previous video. Anyways, man, y'all show mad love and I appreciate that. I appreciate everyone who is writing for your boy. Um, and yeah, so a comment that I really liked was the top liked comment and it's by that boy uh, Austin Self. Uh, short for selfie, you dig? I don't, I don't, you know what, corny, whatever. It says, uh, yo, parts two and three of this series are about to be dope. Stretch it out to a part five series and put more info and history behind the pieces. Thanks for the entertainment, daddy can too. Oh, I made it to the end of the video because that's what heroes do. Damn, dude is just rapping in the comment section. Someone else said I got more clothes than the Kardashians. Debatable, but probably true. <laughs> true. And then uh, Anthony uh, Ruscio says, sneaker collection when you're done. Huh. Huh. Yes. Then another person got a sunburn from all the heat. Hey, man, dude, you need that vitamin D right now, especially in these times of viral infections. Anyways, man, what up, guys? We're going to get into the, uh, the crew necks and some jackets today. Then tomorrow or a couple days from now, stay tuned for the jerseys and then the t-shirts, all right? And then we'll do sneakers, snapbacks. Dude, we got a little bit of everything, man, to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the crew necks. And yes, I'm going to give you guys a little bit more of that history since you want to be taken to school real quick. All right. Now, I don't know everything, but I know some things. So you're going to hear some things. Let's go. All right, guys. So piece number one of today's crew neck collection slash some jackets is, of course, the FUBU racing piece. Now, I call this the condiment colorway because you got a little taste of ketchup, mustard, disgusting. Who likes mustard and mayo? Everybody likes mayo. Yo, but yeah, it's a FUBU piece and FUBU stands for For Us By Us. and was founded by Damon John, who I actually met. That's the dude on Shark Tank. But basically, dude, the reason I have a love and affinity for FUBU is because I grew up in a predominantly black town. So like my schools were 80% black growing up and I come from a white middle-class family. So that's why I talk with kind of a urban slang dialect. Someone was hating on the way I talk, bro. Like, why are you even here, man? Get the f on out of here, bro. But yeah, FUBU stands for For Us By Us, which I actually think was intended for black people. But <laughs> yo, I guess I'm us in this case. But yeah, I remember when I was in elementary, dude, substitute teachers on casual Fridays would be rocking FUBU jerseys, hold up, like this. And I was like, damn, that's kind of fresh, bro. So that's why I love FUBU since I was a child. And I guess it's because I was a teacher's pet because who honestly wants to dress up like a sub? I don't know, but I guess the subs were fly as hell. Like it was that one rare bird of a cool substitute teacher, I guess. Anyways, moving on, man. This piece right here is actually the piece that got Jacob Starr into thrifting. He saw me pull this piece back when I was in college in like 2013 and he was like, dang, you can find that type of heat in the thrift. And I guess that's kind of what woke everyone up with seeing my videos and me finding heat for cheap. And this is the Jeff Gordon Rainbow Warrior Crew Neck. Now Jeff Gordon was my favorite NASCAR driver growing up and he came into NASCAR I think in 1992 and he won four Winston Cup, uh, championships so right here says winston cup series and then three daytona 500s so basically from 95 to like 2001 he was just wrecking so that was when i was a child and his colors are just so sick and my parents would get me like nascar toy cars so that's what got me into um jeff gordon and of course the the rainbow warrior dude that's like hawaiian but also like NASCAR edition. I actually might make a video called how to dress like Jeff Gordon and literally make my whole appearance look like his. I think it'd be kind of cool. I used to watch NASCAR just to see people crash, so I'm gonna keep it a buck. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. Now, um, this next piece is just inspirational. You know what I'm saying? That's like Tiger Woods, croquetted, all crocheted, multicolored sweater. I really just want to get pictures in this and I told y'all, man, I get pieces for pictures and for fits. So I might have to hit a mini golf course once we're out of this quarantine and get some pictures in this. Now, this piece right here makes me look like, <laughs> makes me look like a wannabe model. Like I'm talking blue steel. 
edition. Awesome Zoolander swag, dude. But yeah, it's the Mark Echo. Never in my life did I think I'd grab an Echo piece, but this one actually is quality. I think Mark Echo is cool as a person. He like found a complex as well. He's done a lot of stuff. Echo itself kind of comes off as corny, I'm not gonna lie. But this piece is just really clean. Again, kind of condiment colorway. Um, all primary colors on this dude, which means you cannot mix pigment to get these colors, but you can mix these colors to create other colors. All right, guys. So blue and red makes purple. Yellow and blue makes green. I'm telling you, I'm taking y'all to school on this one. Okay. This next piece I just thought was dope. And this dude reminds me of the Warheads guy. I don't know if you guys have eaten Warhead candy, but when I would go like watch my sister play indoor soccer growing up, I loved eating Warheads. So this dude is getting uh, electrocuted. It says the electrician and uh, there's no date on this. I mean, you guys usually can look at tags. This tag is disintegrated or the stitching, but I imagine this is from the mid to late eighties based off the quality, the touch, the feel, and um, it was made in USA. So yeah, I mean, cool graphic. Dude is just messing around with the toaster. I don't know, about to blow his top off. Literally you got steam coming out the ears. Crazy, be safe out there. Now this piece I got from the homie Legit Fits, you already know. It's the Alabama Bass Crew Neck. Y'all know fishes get you hella bitches and bass get you hella half. And I gotta say stuff weird like that because YouTube is really coming at people's throats if you have vulgarity in your content. So that's kind of why I'm bleeping stuff out because if I spend all this time making videos, I wanna get a little bit of that money for it. But yeah, man, bass are very, very aggressive fish. Pretty easy to catch. You can throw anything in water and they'll pretty much smack it. And that's ducks, mice, lures, not real ducks or real mice, but you can do that if you have them. Uh, so yeah, very fun to catch and they always put up a good fight. Now we have another little golf piece right here. I was thinking Kinky and I could get the twin fit picks. We might actually make a calendar. I think that's a good idea. So yeah, I'm kind of stocking up stuff for me and him. Now, this piece is a starter 90s grail. It is the Miami Saucin like a dolphin sweater slash hoodie. So this thing has two hoods, double cupped. You know what I mean? It is absolutely crazy. So you could rock one hood or rock the other. Or if you're like a Siamese twin and have two heads, you know, you could <laughs> have both heads covered in case it's super cold. You want to protect thy ear. Uh, all embroidered, it kind of got dreads with these little dongles, nice beads right here, very cool, and the cufflets are dope, and then the pockets have a green lining. So the attention to detail was crazy, and this is a starter piece. Now, starter was founded in 1971, and I remember that because their founder is named David Beckerman. And when I first found out who founded starter, I was like, David Beckham? But no, nah, it's David Beckerman. Shout out David Beckham though, man. Love the Calvin Klein work. <laughs> Okay, this piece I got from the homies at Bounce Back. Okay, this is gonna bother me. Anyways, this is the piece that I got from the homies at Bounce Back in Houston, Texas, AKA Rob. It is a Dallas Cowboys starter crew neck. Again, beautiful. The Dallas Cowboys put in work. You got some muskets right here, maybe they're rifles, uh, they're, they're weaponry regardless. And I was always a Cowboys fan because someone asked this question, that's why I'm answering. I was a Cowboys fan because my dad grew up in the valley, like down near Mexico, he's, he's Mexican. And uh, <laughs> fun fact is so, yeah, they just, uh, the Cowboys were America's team. So he grew up watching the Cowboys. Um, he liked the Oilers and the Oilers left, I think in 95. And so we just watched the Cowboys until 2002. So I had seven years of just watching the Cowboys and they were winning hella championships in the early 90s when I was a little baby. So of course the family was riding with the Texas team. That was putting up the dubs, bruh. Okay, these next true crew necks are very clean. Navy blue again. Houston Pocket Rockets. This is the second rendition of their logo. I don't know when this logo came out. I'll put the date here. And uh, yeah, this is the hardest logo in my opinion that they have. It's just so dope. I love the spaceship with kind of the shark tooth mouth, kind of P40 inspired, which is a World War II era plane. And uh, you have the International Golf League. This is just a crispy essential with hella flags, so why not? All right, next up on the chopping block, you have a very Travis Scott-esque piece. And I actually got this before Travis Scott was widely known and popping, so did I inspire Travis Scott's outfits? Obviously. Trippy. But bro, this fits in perfectly. Perfect. It's like a gunslinger. Got this little Western dude right here. Look at those tight jeans, man. He's about to pull out his six shooter and just bow. 
you know, get some people. But I like the turtleneck on it, and it says gunslinger on the little nipple area, and it says gunslinger down the sleeves. Anytime there's sleeve print, I love it. Yeah. And I love it. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, cool. If y'all know that song, you know it. Uh, okay. Now this piece is another Honey Chipotle Chicken Crisper. It is the Los Angeles Raiders. NWA swag. They were always rocking LA Raiders hats. And this definitely is of that ilk. Now the Raiders, I think they went to LA in 1982. They're originally from Oakland. Then I think they went back to Oakland in 95. Somewhere in the mid 90s, but... Dang, the cut and sew action is just Ooh. unbelievable. Again, the cufflets, unreal. Ooh. And this is a Logo 7 piece. Seven, bro. Shout out Logo 7, uh, a very popular 90s brand. I don't really know the history behind it. So this is an absolute grail, a banger of all bangers, man. It is the Kurt Cobain. Look at that, there's his name right there in case you guys didn't know, Nirvana. Crew neck. Now it has Curtis Cobain all down the sleeves, making it more work for me to say his name. Yes, I know. It says grunge is dead on his shirts. Now you gotta respect Kurt Cobain for effing with the hip hop. However, I was never the biggest Nirvana fan growing up. Of course, I knew all the popular songs that would just be blasting on the radio. But uh, yeah, I got this piece for shooting a promotional video for the homie Sudi in Providence, Rhode Island. So yeah, shout out Kieran, you know what I mean? It's a dope piece though. Round two is trying to sell this for $380. Bro. Personal file, tripping by the offense number 15. If you buy something from them, do what you want with your money, but you're not spending it wisely. They be taxing. Sean's cool though. All right, so this next piece right here is an Adidas heater. Now it reminds me of the principal off Billy Madison in terms of the color scheme, the blob. Uh, but yes, yeah, all embroidered. This is a 90s piece. It has this like white silver tag. It was made in Malaysia. Ooh, exotic. But yeah, I've been trying to sell this one, but I just never can post it on the website because as soon as I see it in edit on Photoshop, I'm like, oh, it's so clean. I got to keep it and I got to rock it. So I'll be waiting a few months before I can throw this on body. Now, as I told you on the beginning of this video, man, I'm from a very uh, somewhat seedy community. <laughs> and this is my hometown, Lamarck. So you got the Lamarck Cougars for a division one, or wait, what? Division two, sorry, illiterate, um, state champions. So it's 95, 96, and 97. So dude, when I was a kid, I was just exposed to people winning championships. The Cowboys were winning. My high school hometown was winning. The Rockets were winning. And nothing has happened since then. It's kind of sad. But yeah, dude, you can just see, even our mascot is rocking that chain with the three on it, which is just hilarious. Anytime I find something from my hometown, obviously I want it. So very dope, man. We were a good school in the 90s. And then when my graduating class left, <laughs> yo, the whole school system just fell off. Let's, let's call a spade a spade. Now this next crew neck is just crazy. Bro, this mascot is called the Corn Jerkers. The Hooperston area corn jerkers. It's not even like Hooperston town or city, it's just the area. And what is a corn jerker? Somebody let me know, that's all I can think, man. Like D Huskers, but this dude looks like an elf or something. Like he looks like a leprechaun. And is that a football? Bro, I have no idea what's going on with this crew neck, but it was so weird and unique, I had to keep it. That's facts. Okay, now we have this really sick piece by Freeze. It is an all over print, very hard to do. The process it takes to actually screen this whole area is, is nuts. Now if they were screening the neck, that's even more next level. But yes, it is Tweety and Sylvester in Hollywood on a shopping spree. I wanna make a reservation. Shout out everybody with speech impediments. Man, we love y'all. So yeah, very cool, colorful, crazy. Can match just about anything, so that's why I got it. Now this piece is from a sponsorship, you know what I'm saying, Squishy Mart, uh, or no, sorry, Quickie Mart, but you got the Squishy on it, the Simpsons. So I watched the Simpsons a lot growing up, so that's why I held on to this piece. It's just very, very dope, man. So shout out Hype Clothing. I still got this. All right, this next little hoodie is from uh, a little Atlanta-based brand, Cloudpool Clothing, um, small brand, cool stuff. I like this logo. I love having an essential white hoodie. That's why I got it. Nothing more to say. So this right here is another clean white hoodie. It is uh, the Palmetto Dunes Tennis Center. Uh, it says Hilton 
Head Island, SC, I guess that's South Carolina or something. But bro, Palmetto Dunes sounds like it's in LA. Like they got, they, do they have dunes in South Carolina? I don't know, bro. I'm not in South Carolina too often. Uh, but yeah, bro, it just has a clean graphic. It has like this nice cufflet on the neck, the 90s drawstrings, then the hood behind the cufflet, and then a nice drawstring on the bottom. So, construction. I really like construction <laughs> of garments. So, excuse me, this is one of them. This next piece is an absolute banger. One of you guys sent it to me. Also, if y'all wanna send me stuff, my PO box is in the video description uh, for fan unboxings. I love it, dude. And I love it. Uh, 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 uh. Anyways, it's a thrift guide. It's like my own piece of merch. And I wanted to get the dude to mass produce these and I would obviously pay him and give him a cut because he came up with the design. But he never left his contact info. So if you're watching this right now, email me, bro. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just release these on my own because homie has never got back to me, but it's fire. Of course, I have to have one, one time for the one time. I hate a what? I hate a Goofy especially. Got this from the homie Roundhouse Vintage because I hate a Goofy especially. So of course it's Mando that I have one Goofy piece in the collection. All right, this crew neck right here is from one of my favorite Disney movies. Well, not necessarily the movie, but the soundtrack of the movie goes so hard because this is historically inaccurate. You guys know, man, I'm a non-fiction type of dude, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I need true life, true stories, true crime. <laughs> but yeah, it's the Pocahontas embroidered and screen printed crew neck. It's so cool, man. Uh, the soundtrack is just un -f -wittable. Uh So yeah, that's why I keep this. It actually fits me horribly. Like I wore this in one video and I look like a complete idiot. Like my head looks so tiny on my torso. It was stupid, but I love it too much to get rid of. And the Disney crew necks, they fetch a nice little profit, but I want it, so I got it. All right, next piece up, another Houston Oilers firecracker. Now, uh, the Houston Oilers, man, 93, man, the year of my birth, they won the AFC Central Championship. So that's very cool. I think that was just their division though. But uh, yeah, so they left Houston, I think in 95, and then they moved to Tennessee, became the Titans, and now the Texans can't have any throwback Oilers uniforms because the original owner was like, nah, bruh, I'm with the Titans now. So it's kind of sad. But yeah, dude, the Oilers were super cool. I remember going to the Astrodome as a kid. It was just so dope. I was actually a toddler at one of the games that my parents took me to. Do I remember it? <laughs> no. Now, of course, this next piece is my favorite sport, which actually my favorite sport is to play is soccer, to watch is football. But uh, yeah, you got the World Soccer USA 1994 crew neck. That's when the World Cup was in Mexico in the US, a little cross North American collaboration. So very nice. I guess Canada got left out the mix. They might've been included. I don't know, but I was gonna wear this, get a pick during the World Cup, but I forgot and so I still got it now. History. This next piece, shout out Nigo, the founder of Bape, is this Bape piece. Now Bape imagery, heavily inspired by the Flying Tigers who fought the Chinese, or fought with the Chinese against the Japanese in World War II. A little history behind that and that's why they kind of have this Tiger logo. It is weird though that Nigo is Japanese and his brand got a lot of their primary imagery from when the US and the Chinese were killing Japanese people. I don't know, bro. Hey, I'm just here to, to give you guys random facts because that's what you want, that's what you get. Uh, essential, man. I like that this is all gray and that the hood pops out because I can rock jerseys over this and have a little babe hood to flex. And it was thrifted. I don't pay no 200 to $400 for anything and I never will. Ooh, now this next piece is another Travis Scott-esque like banger. It is all brown, Nike, but it has an error. Just look at that embroidery. What is going on with that embroidery? It looks so crazy. It's like three bootleg Nike checks and the sewing machine must have been tweaking, having a seizure or something. So they cut the tag and anytime they cut one of these tags, it basically means it's bad product and you're not supposed to sell it. But it was made in USA. It's kind of the mocha brown as are the Travis Scott ones. So I had to hold on to this. This would actually probably fetch a grip because it's just so rare that it has this type of error in it and on it. Next piece from the homie Jenny, shout out Mad Milk Clothing. Um, screen printed by hand by an artist that I'm friends with. It says milk right here. So get your lactose in. Uh, and you know what? It can be soy, it can be almond. That's what I sip on. If you drink soy milk straight up, it's gonna give you the shit, the runs. I know it from experience, okay? 
Oh, yes. Now, this little lavender piece is, oh, aquatic and erotic. It is, uh, what, what is this brand? Southern Tide. This is like some fraternity brand that I do not really F's with because annoying chads that, that I went to college with would rock this. But you guys know, fishes get you hella bitches. So I had to get this, and the lavender is just a nice color. Now, this crew neck right here is something special, man. It is the Walmart Red Light Special. Now, I think this was some type of sales promotion in the 80s, early 90s, because the date on this is like 1989. Do I remember this? No, nah, but if there's an advertisement, I'll put it right here. Okay, guys, and how cool is this? It is a dinosaur that is about to go skiing. I like it because it's a dinosaur that's about to go skiing. So that's why I have it, man. Um, old Fruit of the Loom Made in USA tag, indicative of the age, which is like late 80s, early 90s. Let's see what's this say. 1986, kind of mid 80s. All right, now this piece is very crispy, man. It is an essential, dude. It is that champion reverse weave. Now the reverse weaves just have this crazy construction of this type of like knit or I guess weave on the rib cage that has a nice stretch to it. Um, so they're very high quality, sought out there and have a great fit. And then it has the old school champion C all embroidered in there, cuh? No, just kidding. I don't gang bang, so I ride red too. Ever since 92, I've been screwed up. Syrup in my cup and a strawberry blunt. I think that's the lyrics. Hey, shout out Big Hawk. Whoo! Now this one is a banger. You guys always want this Orlando Magic. Anytime I rock this like hoodie that's cut and sew on the sleeves, people want it, they want to buy it off me, and I'm like, no, it fits too good for me to get rid of. So yeah, the attention to detail on the embroidery is crazy, on the cut and sew is crazy, and then it has this really cool tag right here that says, in the paint. So yeah, I go hard in the mother freaking paint or in the kitchen. Ooh, now this one is a guest grail. This should probably be in the t-shirt collection, but it's long sleeve, so it's not. I actually found this in an upcoming trip to the thrift. However, I don't think I'm ever gonna drop that video because I look like an idiot. Like, there are some videos where I just look, like, my, my appearance insecure is just so horrible that I'm like, dude, how can I talk to you about fashion when I'm not even taking care of myself? So yeah, I don't know if I'm ever gonna drop the video, but guest jeans USA, just know. I found it in the thrift. Look at that tag. Oh, all right. And these last two crew necks are crazy. Boom, both of them are forest green. So you could lightly camouflage yourself in some uh, pine trees. It is <laughs> this Tasmanian devil breaking the hoop and basket backboard, smashing it just like Shaquille O'Neal. And then you have the bootleg Gucci, but I guess in this case it's Fuji. Uh, crew neck right here. I love it all embroidered. Sometimes the bootlegs are the best and you know This is fake <laughs> Because it's on that fruit of the loom heavy tag that was made in USA So yeah, if something is a designer brand, but it has a fruit of the loom tag Pretty indicative of its inauthenticity. All right <sighs> Okay, and with that being said guys this video has been long as hell I mean, we have only a few more pieces, so I could keep it going, but I'm just gonna cut it short right here so I can give you guys some history on that product there. Y'all said y'all want, you know what I'm saying, more videos, so you're going to get more. Um, thank you guys for watching. Right now, on my Vintage website, we have a drop that I haven't notified the public to yet, so you guys are hearing it first, and then tonight I'll update the Instagram, my thrift heaven instagram is usually what you guys need to follow to stay up to date on drops but enough chit chat if you guys want to buy clothes that's cool if you don't that's fine but i love you guys regardless and stay tuned for another collection video coming soon it's your host with the most um signing out saying peace and love hey like the video man please i appreciate it and i'm out killing these songs leaving a bloody life i and i'm in it to win it so i'm somebody that you should get used to